Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a close look on these three micro receivers that are compatible with any Tyrannis remote or model. All of them operate in D8 mode, which means you can also use it with any DJT model. On the right we have, this is the receiver I've got with my XJB75. It doesn't have any model, but they also sell it separately in Banggood. Here, this is the new FD1000 receiver. This is not FR Sky product, this one is not as well. The XM is the only one which is branded with the FR Sky model. This one is a long range receiver that supports also telemetry. And this one only supports RSSI. And this one supports our SSI as well, as you can see on my review of the XGB75. So let's start by quickly weighing these three receivers. This receiver weighs 1.54 grams. The FD1000 weighs 1.35 grams. And the XM, which is the lightest, weighs 0.81 grams. The XM and this generic one cost almost the same around. $10 and the DF1000 is the most expensive one and cost about $15. Both the XM and the FD1000 have this new type antenna uh, that it has a little smaller connector than the other ones they used to sell so make sure you buy compatible ones and they are both replaceable. The antenna here is not, it doesn't have the IPX connection and you will have to solder a new one if you want to replace it. As I mentioned earlier, both the generic one and the XM provides RSSI and this FD1000, it has a dedicated telemetry port here, which means you can connect it to the board and you can supply your remote with telemetry. As you might have noticed, here it says FRSky LR1000, but Bengo changed the name because Furious FPV have a similar receiver with the LR1000 model, so probably that's the reason they have to change it. I think it's also very similar design, so probably this is a clone. This receiver didn't come with any instructions, unlike the XM, came with this user manual, so it provides you with a diagram on how to use it. These both receivers support SBUS and this one can be used either with PPM or SBUS, you just have to solder the correct pads. Now I've already used this XM in my Pico X and I was very happy, the range was good. Uh, probably range wise, this is the receiver is going to provide you with the longest range, it's rated to, to be about 1 km but I've yet to test it. I have tested this for about in ranges between 200 to 300 without any problems and this one actually after about 100 200 meters I had some problems and it's ready to be the, the range is stayed to be about 300 to 400 meters so if you're looking for a receiver on your micro quadcopter and you're not going to get too far from it I think this receiver is going to be more than enough for you, it's very compact. I'm not sure why the antenna is so long. If the antenna was in this form factor, it probably would be better. You can, if you want to cut it and leave the correct length of exposed wire, if you want to play with it, maybe it will work, but make sure that the antenna is securely connected when using it, when you're replacing it, because otherwise you might suffer from some signal problems. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about these receivers, let me know in the comment section below. And once I will use this LR1000 or FD1000 or whatever you want to call it, I will let you know and I will post a build video using it.